Why we should plant more trees? As we learn it in third grade biology, trees are essential to life. They create the very air we breathe and filter air pollution. What you may not know is that trees also build soil and help soak up stormwater before it can create a flood. And they offer energy saving shade that reduces global warming and creates habitat for thousands of different species. Trees also help to reduce ozone levels in urban areas. Most importantly, trees sequester carbon, helping to remove carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from the air, which cools the earth. Trees make life nicer. Spending time among trees and green spaces reduces the amount of stress that we carry around with us on daily basis. Children have been shown to retain more of the information taught in schools if they spend some of their time outdoors in green space. There are many local, national, and international organizations that plant trees. And because planting trees costs relatively little, you can also have trees planted specifically to offset your personal carbon emissions from the vehicle you travel. You can also check with your local environmental or parks department for tree planting organizations and events in your community and make sure you participate. Supporting tree planting organization is a great way to be eco-friendly. You can also make a difference in your community by planting trees in your own property too. Cool, wetter weather is the perfect time for tree planting and the seasonal rains can often provide all the water the tree needs. Plant trees in your yard and around your home, they will provide shade to cool your home in summer and windbreaks to reduce cold winds in winter. Plant trees in your community, in parks, around schools and in urban areas. Plants are considered as a critical resource because of the many ways they support life on earth. They release oxygen into the atmosphere and absorbs carbon dioxide. They also provide habitat and food for wildlife and humans and regulate the water cycle on the earth. Plants maintain the atmosphere, providing many products for human use, such as firewood, timber, fibers, medicines, dyes, pesticides, oils, and rubber.
You don't have to be an environmental expert to understand that plants look attractive. If you think little deeper, beneath their beauty, you will discover the benefits of interior landscaping go far beyond the aesthetic. Recent research tells us that, interior plants are good for buildings and people in a variety of subtle ways. Interior landscaping plays a vital role in providing a pleasant and tranquil environment in which we move, work or relax. No doubt, plants help reduce stress and create a feeling of well-being. A substantial body of academic research has shown conclusively that interior landscaping has dramatic effect on the well-being of building occupants. Plants have long been used to reduce noise from busy roads, more recently, research has shown another benefit. Interior plants can help reduce background noise levels inside buildings too. Studies also indicate that plants and their leaves absorb background noise, thereby making the environment more comfortable. Indoor plants and flowers not only help you breathe better indoor air, but also enhance your mood. Having indoor plants may help you reduce the stress level and can make you feel happy. Plants and flowers in your home can also bring positive energy with their pleasant odor. The plants contains a compound called linalool that is helpful to improve your mood. The plant is rich in antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties that protect you from several bacteria. Daily, we see a countless variety of plants growing in our neighborhoods, in our parks, in our forests, but most of us pass these, without taking a moment to observe their beauty and diversity. The ability to look at plants around you, to study them, and to think critically about how they grow, reproduce, and adapt to their environments, over time are very important scientific skills. Many of the greatest scientists, throughout history, have come upon their theories, through a simple observation of the plants around them. There are some plants, which store food in their fruits, we eat the fruits of such plants as food. For example, strawberries, various kind of cherries, oranges, apples, plums, mangoes and bananas. Fruits are the reproductive parts of a flowering plants with seeds. In botanical terms, a fruit is basically a seed-bearing part of a plant that developed from the ovary of a flowering plant, whereas vegetables are all the other parts of a plant such as its root leaves and stems.
do trees feel pain? The simple answer is that, no one is sure whether plants can feel pain. However, studies show that plants can feel a touch, as light as a caterpillar's footprint. Research shows that, within minutes of being surrounded by trees and green space, your blood pressure drops, your heart rate slows, and your stress levels come down. Parks and trees soon will become a vital component of urban life. Hence, we must respect them and protect them for the future.